Hi, my name is Matthew from Lancaster SVS. Today, Ben and Miguel are playing Shamu on PlayStation 4. Oh, my ear! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> I was not ready. Okay, so you play as this main character. His name is Ryo Hazuki. Uh -huh. uh, he carries this little like notepad around where he keeps notes. So like when things happen, like things get filled in. Those little address books of people who know, uh, people he knows, and he takes notes like the mirror with the dragon design stolen, Land D, murder dad, war dragon robe, rare fight style tattoo on his arm. Uh, so he takes notes of the different things that that happen. Like I guess like a memo pad. It's 1999. Like. <laughs> well, actually, I don't know if you saw the date. It's oh, 1986. No. Oh, even better. Yeah. So this takes place in 1986. It's like December. Um, you know, but the game itself came out in like 99, uh -huh. but this game was revolutionary to me because, you know, so he's in his room, this is his bedroom, but it was revolutionary because everything in the house, you could open it up and take a look at it. You can interact with everything? Yeah, for the most oh, part, geez. like with everything, you could open up all the drawers and he's got his socks in there. Uh, yeah, it's fascinating that like there's a lot of objects that he could pick up, and that was one of the things that the director wanted. He was like, I've always disliked in games where it's just you know blank things, like yeah. you can't do anything. He's like, I want a game where you could open open things up. So immersion. And, yeah, to get it very immersed, and yes, yeah, so this game was groundbreaking for you know 1999. But yeah, so this is his house. Uh, let me see. Here's a little a nice little Easter egg in his house so this is kind of like i don't know i guess a living room because there's a tv set okay but at the bottom of the tv set there's a dreamcast there is a dreamcast, <laughs> and it's the japanese dreamcast it's oh, like wow. gray the american one was black i mean i'm sorry i'm saying dreamcast this is a sega saturn sega oh saturn. okay this is the japanese sega saturn i think you can yeah you can kind of read it on the top sega saturn this is the japanese one it was gray and uh yeah so this is that's the console before the dreamcast okay and like this game, it has a lot of fighting elements and the fighting style was based off of Virtua Fighter, which was like a game on the Sega Saturn, which oh, is a fighting okay. game. But uh, yeah, I mean, so this is his home and you could explore like every single room in here. You know, there's the kitchen. You could even like, you know. The music's so intense and you're just walking around your, <laughs> your home, kind of like you're snooping. I could pick up a teapot, like, oh, okay, it's a teapot, okay. So like, and it has, it serves no purpose to be able to do this. <laughs> it's just there. Like you could grab like a lot of things in the house. Can you take that down? I sure can. What? Okay. I sure can. Oh, nothing there. Just a little nail or something. And look, here's a... Is that the John? It is. And it's a, a squat toilet. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> so yes, in a lot of Asian countries, you have a squat toilet instead. Yeah. <laughs> And it's with that like sink combination, right? Like the yeah, yeah. So the, the water from the sink flows into the toilet because it's like, hey, you might as well use that water. Is it over here? I think I don't know, but it would take me a while to get used to that. I was like, I don't trust the water. <laughs> and his family is Buddhist, so he has a little Buddhist altar in here. He could even do a little, I guess, uh, some kind of prayer or ceremony. Cool. Oh, cool. I will get them, father. <gasps> he really did that? Yeah, so his father died. And so basically the whole story is your character, Ryo Hazuki, it's a revenge tale now. Okay. He has to hunt down this man who killed his father and needs to avenge his father. Okay. Ryo is, he's like, he's in high school. He's like 17 or 18. Like oh, he's no, like, he's going to drop out. Yeah, like he's a, he's a young kid. <laughs> But now he's gonna set off on this journey. He put on his shoes. Cool. Yeah, so he, every time you come in, he puts his, he takes his shoes off. When he goes out, he puts his shoes back on. You got the sliding doors. You know, it's very Japanese. Okay. What did he talk with my father about? Yeah, so the voice acting is Lindy, not great. I was gonna say that. It's like, ooh, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's become part of the charm of this game. So while well, they're talking, I'll explain this. So Shenmue came out on the Dreamcast, I don't know. and then the Dreamcast. Nowhere. 
it went away I see. while they were still working on Thanks, Shenmue 2, okay. which is on here as well, if you Shenmue remember 2. Anything at all, so Shenmue sure 2 was me. ended up getting released on the original Why? Xbox. What you gonna do? It looks just like this, like same You're graphics, sorry. it wasn't anything like going? updated, it was just the Dreamcast yeah, game but released on the original Xbox. Please don't. I played that as well, Look what they did to and then Sensei. 20 years or so they went by. Right in front and of me. they finally came out I with Shenmue 3. Revenge. Okay. And the story's still not finished. It's still the same story. Out this? Yes. Dude, what? The story's still not finished. So the director wanted to make this super long, epic game. It just hasn't worked out. So, like, after the second one, they didn't do anything okay. with it. And it went away. But, you know, it has such a following that um, people wanted the director to do it. So the director got the permission from Sega to get it developed. So they did it through Kickstarter oh, nice. and raised more than enough money that they needed. So they released Shenmue 3 for the PS4. Okay. So on three different <laughs> consoles like that it's been released. And Shenmue 3 is the entire reason I even got a PS4. Uh, Miguel remembers that? Yeah, I do time. remember that. I remember... Uh, I was talking about the, it at uh, work. This was like in 2019. And yeah, so this is the reason I even got a PS4 to begin with. Oh, a long time fan here. Yeah. From the very beginning. Like, I was super excited about it. But it's mostly about investigating this game. Okay. So she mentioned there that that kitten's mother was ran over by a black car a few days ago. And he's like, black car? Oh. It was a black car that that guy showed up in, wasn't it? So basically, you go around, you talk to different people and gather information so okay. until you unlock you know, the next part Everybody that you can go investigate and things just build up and build up like, and you lead you to new Yaku, to new things to go Yaku. figure out. So are you like guided to like I where see. you need to go get your next clue for like your investigation stuff or do you just kind of got to go with it until something pops up? Sometimes it's a little more obvious, but for some things you're like, what? Okay. Where, where do I find this? Yeah, and you gotta like talk to every single person you could see. Jeez. You gotta knock on every single door, <laughs> and eventually you'll get the information that you're looking for. It's like, oh, like Wait. that's where I had to go. I could use a phone booth, like everything in here. But the problem is, once I pick up this phone, so it's a rotary phone. Um, you need to know the number. Oh, that music so intense. So yeah, you either have to write down the phone number or just memorize it. Okay. And you know, maybe if it was like a digital keypad, it might be easier. But look at this. Look at these like Japanese style phone numbers. So like, uh, you know, o four six eight three seven seven four nine. You gotta be like. Uh, oh no way. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Four. <laughs> six. So like it takes a long time just to just to dial the numbers, but call the fire department. I saw that was on there. One one nine. One one nine. I'm too old to make crank calls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so immature. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll buy a soda. Already wasting your money, man. You're too old for this. <laughs> so what should we get? Cola, orange, grape, whatever this one is. <laughs> what? Or coffee. In a can? In a can. You gotta do it. All right. So 100 yen, so about a dollar. About a, about a US dollar. All right. Give some coffee to the, to the lady. And get her moving. <laughs> there is a, a a part where some guys like, man, I could really go for some coffee right now, so you can go buy him coffee. <laughs> He's chugging coffee. Come yeah, on, man. enjoy it. Oh, look at the face he makes. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. Oh, look, some virtual fighter toys. What's oh. the other one? Sonic toys. Sonic. Let's get a Sonic toy. Each. Come on, man, you're too old for Five. this. <laughs> I should buy one. I should buy one. You should call the fire department. <laughs> I remember these toys. Yeah. What do we get? Some kind of die? Huh? Yeah, some kind of die. Uh, like for luck? I guess. All right. And now I have a I have dice number three apparently. Okay. So you can collect Maybe all these I things. Get another. Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. Let's see what we get. Uh, and even 10,000. I like it. 
<laughs> While waiting, it's also, who's that? Hey, what's this? Sonic in a hat? Oh, I don't know. Some other Sonic character. I don't know all of them. It's I just know like one, Knuckles, yeah. Tails. I don't know who this purple guy Amy. is. I know And I forgot. So yeah, now I have that. Oh, I should say the name. Fang. Oh. All right. And so I got a job as a forklift driver. Forklift driver number five. Okay, so I could raise and lower this thing. I'm going to start with this crate here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So this was technically my very first job ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was a child and yeah, this is the very first job I did. And you know, it might seem boring. Like, well, you got to work in a video game. Oh, man, but like this was cool. like my favorite part of it. It was just, oh my gosh, I'm really bad at this. It's just so fascinating that you had to get a job and then actually do that job. You know, so I gotta move these crates into this small warehouse. Wow. And the more days you keep going, like, um, you know, it'll be like, um, like further away. Right here, the crates are right in front of the warehouse. But later, oh, I'm on top of it. So. <laughs> but like, as you keep going, like it'll be, they'll be further away. So you gotta take it from one end of the dock to the other. And you gotta get like a certain amount done in the day. Uh -huh. And yeah, so you'll work for like a while, then you'll take a lunch break, and then you get back to work. No way. <laughs> yeah. So you gotta keep an eye on your, your watch or something? Or no, like it, it automatically sends you to lunch. Oh. Like once it gets to, like when you start working from the morning, it'll, you know, stop like at 12. And it's like an hour long lunch break, or in-game hour. And then, uh, and then you'll work again until like five. Oh. So like right now, I think I'm gonna work until five. That's hilarious. Yeah. But yeah, like this is what you do. You gotta save enough money to buy. Uh, you are stacking to... those terribly. Oh yeah, I mean, as long as they're in the grid, it's fine. Oh, <laughs> right. oh that's so terrible. It's all right. I get paid by the hour. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I love this game. Like this is one of my favorite games of all time. It's the controlling is super janky. Um, the graphics are no longer very good, but you know they're not the worst graphics ever. Uh -huh. But, like, the story itself, I love it. Like, I love a good story. Like, I'm okay with graphics not being great if it can give me, a, like, a good story. Okay. So, can I scoop up the crate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Accelerate, reverse, uh, lift the thing. Okay. Let's, uh, go over here. Oh, is that the only one I can pick? Oh, whoa! Oh. Well, I mean, if you raise the thing, you can lift one of the second level ones. Oh, you're leaving? No, 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 I'm trying to get over here. I just don't know how to use it. You made it seem so easy. Turn! Yeah, it's super janky, right? Like, <laughs> it is not the most responsive theory. Here I go, stop! <laughs> what the? So press X again. There you go. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm over here making fun of you, not keeping this straight like how bad I am. <laughs> Right, so Miguel, Slow down. Miguel working with a forklift now as well. He's experiencing my first job ever. <laughs> so I'm updating my resume for SVA. I, I'm a, I have my forklift operating experience. Yeah, you might not have a license, but you have- What did I do? For the day. Finish for the day, it's already five. It took me an hour to pick up a box. Well, the time goes by pretty fast, but- Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but it, yeah. you did like, what, how many boxes? I did like four Thank or you. something. You I didn't even do one. Forklift. I think that's gonna wrap it up luck. for us for this one. Uh, Thank you very much. I'll keep battling it out with the crates. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work on your organizing skills though. Yeah. You've gotta line them up better. So yes, this is again one of my favorite games of all time, yeah. Shenmue. Mark. A very fascinating game. I need you to come very interesting. At 9 very dated okay. now, but yeah. very enjoyable. Yeah. If I would have played it at the time it came out, I would have been There's super interested. There's something we gotta do before work. It's very immersive. The biggest takeaway. Yeah, definitely. Before like you work, become this really? character. Like I was yeah, a little man. kid, so for me, I thought this is what a role play You'll game see when is. You get here. But I guess it's more of an action oh, adventure, be late. Uh -huh. technically. But this is what it seemed okay. like. So I was like, I'm literally playing the role of Ryo Hazuki. I, I go to bed. <laughs> I get a job. <laughs> I'm getting paid. Like I am this guy. <laughs> and also, like every interaction in this game is um, all voice acting. What is it? Like, you know, you that, know that was also cutting edge for the angels. 90s, you know? Like, uh, that's a thing now. Like, even now, not are... every game will have to know about them? Voice yeah, yeah. They fight and But people. this game does. Heard so, yeah. I mean, so what do you think? Does it get your seal? Oh, this Maybe game gets tried to mug me. <laughs> my seal was for sure. It gets, well, it's your seal, but uh, I will definitely give it Miguel's seal of approval. There it is. That's going to do it for us. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed 
me and <laughs> remembering my childhood. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you for the next one. See you next time, guys. Let's go put this guy to bed. Yeah, the sun's setting. <laughs>